In the rapidly evolving world of AI, few voices resonate with as much authority and insight as that of Mustafa Suleiman, the co-founder of Google's DeepMind. As AI's computational prowess reaches staggering heights, enabling breakthroughs in healthcare, finance, and beyond, Suleiman stands as a sentinel, warning of the lurking dangers. It's scary, it's petrifying, it's threatening. Is it gonna take my job? Is my daughter or son gonna fall in love with it? You know, what does this mean? What does it mean to be human in a world where there's these other human-like things that aren't human? How do I make sense of that? It's super scary. In this video, we delve deep into his cautionary tales, revealing the darker side of AI's meteoric rise. From the peril of deep fakes that can deceive the masses to the ethical quandaries of scalable language models and the very essence of human identity being challenged, Suleiman's revelations are a clarion call. So, let's dive right in. The negative escalating computational power and potential for harm. Today, you know, you have billions and billions of times that floppy disk in your smartphone, in your pocket. Undoubtedly, the computational power surge is one of the astounding progress AI has made in various fields. Tasks once considered insurmountable for machines are now handled with remarkable efficiency. AI models can process and analyze vast data sets at lightning speed, enabling breakthroughs in areas like healthcare, where AI aids in diagnosing diseases from medical images, or finance, where it optimizes trading strategies. However, there's a flip side to this computational coin that Mustafa Suleiman cautions us about. The immense power bestowed upon AI comes with the potential for misuse. With the ability to process colossal volumes of data, AI can be employed in ways that threaten privacy and security. Deepfake technology, for instance, leverages this computational might to create convincing forged videos, leading to misinformation and deception. While AI holds immense potential for addressing global challenges, Suleiman warns that its misuse can have severe consequences. AI technologies can be employed for nefarious purposes, from cyber attacks to the creation of deepfakes, undermining trust and security in an increasingly digital world. Moreover, the rapid pace of AI advancement fueled by increased computational power can outstrip our ability to develop robust regulations and safeguards. This lag in governance can open the door to AI systems being deployed without adequate scrutiny, potentially causing unintended harm. Talking about unintentional damage, a scalable language model is another thing that can cause this. But how exactly? The peril of scalable language models. Mustafa Suleiman acknowledges the astonishing pace at which AI is evolving. Similarly, language models such as ChatGPT have witnessed tremendous growth in complexity and capability. However, these models can now generate eerily human-like text making them potent tools for both constructive and potentially destructive purposes. This advancement in text generation raises concerns about the potential misuse of AI-generated content for disinformation, propaganda, or other malicious purposes. In the hands of bad actors, disinformation could influence elections or synthetic substances could be weaponized. While these models have legitimate applications in content generation and customer support, they also present a double-edged sword as they can be used to fabricate convincing misinformation. To curb this recognized growing danger, Suleiman emphasizes the paramount importance of ethical considerations and responsible AI practices. Ensuring transparency, fairness, and accountability in AI development becomes essential to mitigate the risks. But it doesn't end here. Suleiman had a lot of other things to say about optimism bias and the potential for AI to cause harm. Optimism bias, the danger of complacency. In most interviews by Suleiman, he doesn't fail to talk about optimism bias in discussion. Most language models, with ChatGPT as a good example, tend to avoid discussing some dangers in view. He essentially points out that many people, including individuals and organizations, tend to wear rose-colored glasses with AI. They lean towards an overly optimistic outlook and might not give due consideration to the darker possibilities. This optimism bias can be risky, as it can lead to complacency. People might think, oh, AI is amazing and it's always going to bring us fantastic benefits, without really digging into the potential downsides. Suleiman argues that this complacency is dangerous because it closes our eyes to the genuine risks associated with AI's rapid development. When we're overly optimistic about AI, we might underestimate its threats. 
For instance, AI's ease with generating realistic but entirely fabricated content, like deepfake videos or persuasive fake news articles, becomes underestimated. The idea that AI could be weaponized or misused for harmful purposes tends to be pushed aside in the wake of the excitement over its capabilities. Furthermore, optimism bias can lead to inadequate preparation for the challenges AI might bring, like job displacement. If we're overly optimistic, we might not take the necessary steps to support workers who could lose their jobs due to automation. Now, another of Suleiman's predictions lies in the challenge of containing AI technologies. AI presents a unique set of complexities, unlike some inventions or technologies that can be easily restricted or banned. This is because AI is incredibly versatile and can serve a multitude of purposes, some of which are genuinely life-saving and beneficial, while others have the potential to be profoundly destructive. Suleiman emphasizes that this versatility of AI means it can wear many hats. On one hand, it can be used for noble purposes like diagnosing diseases, predicting natural disasters, and assisting in scientific research. AI has already demonstrated its ability to contribute positively to fields like healthcare and environmental monitoring. These applications hold the promise of improving the quality of human life and addressing critical global challenges. However, the opposite side of this benefit is a concerning one. AI can just as easily be applied to ethically dubious or outright harmful activities. For example, AI can be used to create deepfake videos that manipulate reality, spread disinformation, or impersonate individuals convincingly. It can be harnessed for cyber attacks, surveillance, or even the development of autonomous weapons that can operate without human intervention. An example is the news that broke out about a popular, Oscar-winning actor celebrity named Tom Hanks, who took to his social media page to warn his fans that a fake advertisement video of his would surface online. According to him, the person in the advertisement video looks so much like him, it would be unbelievable to think he is not the one. The potential for abuse increases exponentially with greater access to advanced AI tools. Suleiman advocates a strategy of containment for artificial intelligence, which he compares to NATO's strategy for nuclear weapons. Simply put, not everyone should have the keys to the kingdom. One would have thought that containment and regulation would be the best answer to solve this, but this is where it gets more complex. Mustafa Suleiman underscores that regulating or containing AI becomes exceedingly complex due to this mixed-use nature. When we recognize that AI has the potential to save lives, it becomes challenging to advocate for strict limitations without hindering its positive contributions. This dilemma poses a significant risk. AI technologies with harmful potential can proliferate alongside those with life-enhancing capabilities. This is the same problem with the issue of AI and employment opportunities. People often say, well, we've always created new jobs. We've never permanently displaced jobs. We've only ever seen new jobs be created. Unemployment is at an all-time low, right? So there's this default optimism bias that we have. The impact on employment. Job displacement is another area of concern for Suleiman. As AI advances and automates various tasks, it's natural that some traditional jobs become obsolete. This phenomenon has historical precedence, and Suleiman's insights shed light on its negative implications. He acknowledges that while new jobs often emerge alongside technological advancements, the transition for displaced workers can be challenging. When someone loses their job to automation, it's not just about finding a new one. It's about adapting to a rapidly changing job market. One of the key concerns he raises is the potential for socioeconomic disruptions. Imagine a factory worker whose job becomes automated. They may need significant retraining to qualify for a different role in the AI-driven economy. Such transitions can be emotionally and financially burdensome, especially for individuals who have spent years in a specific profession. Additionally, Suleiman hints at the disparity in the quality and availability of new jobs. While AI may create new employment opportunities, they might not necessarily match the skill set of those who lost their jobs. This mismatch can lead to underemployment and wage stagnation, contributing to economic inequality. Furthermore, he points out that the pace of AI-driven change may outstrip the capacity of society and education systems to prepare workers for these new roles. 
In other words, there's a risk of a skills gap where the demand for AI-related skills surpasses the supply. Those are the incentive dynamics that are going to drive us to, you know, cause self-harm to humanity. Mm. The emotional problems. Finally, the advancement of AI indeed raises some profound questions about what it means to be human in a world where machines can replicate human-like intelligence and behavior. Mustafa also touched upon these thought-provoking aspects of AI in his discussion. Suleiman has pointed out that as AI systems become increasingly sophisticated in mimicking human traits, it leads to philosophical debates about the essence of human identity. Imagine AI systems that can hold remarkably human-like conversations or create art that's indistinguishable from human creations. This blurring of lines challenges our understanding of what sets us apart from machines. While these systems have the potential to enhance human interactions by providing emotional support and companionship, they also come with worrisome implications. AI's ability to manipulate or exploit human emotions is a concern that Suleiman has highlighted. Imagine AI systems capable of tailoring their responses to evoke specific emotional reactions, whether for advertising, political influence, or more malicious purposes. Indeed, this could undermine our trust in AI and the digital world. And with that, we come to the end of this video. If you've watched this video all the way through, we'd love to hear your thoughts. Drop a comment below to let us know you've gained some insights from the content. For more interesting topics, subscribe and make sure you watch the recommended video that you see on the screen right now. Thanks for watching.